In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a TIE Phantom, also known as a TIE PH from Star Wars. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more Star Wars tutorials I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full playlist. Anyway, let's get into building. Alright, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So guys, this one is actually quite a long one. It's 15 blocks long, uh, it's 11 wide and it's 9 high. I couldn't find the actual specs for the actual size for this one. So what I've done is I've, I've just kind of scaled it by hand. <laughs> it's always more difficult when you do that. So I can see the proportions of it. I can see roughly what it's going to be and a lot of it, if I'm honest, has been based on being able to actually get inside it. So, you know, having, having at least two blocks internally to be able to walk around. I know there's not that much of an interior, but uh, that's the kind of way I've gone with that. Um, so I'm going to be building it in this grid, uh, as I always do, just in case you want to park it somewhere. You then at least know 15 wide, uh, 15 long even, and 11 wide. And um, yeah, the uh, kind of trapdoors at the end, and you've also got the uh, end rods right at the front of it. So that's what's kind of going on there. But anyway, materials wise, you need to grab yourself a polished andesite slab, stair and block, polished deep slate uh, slab and block. Uh, also grab yourself a grey stained glass piece, a warp trap door, end rod and iron trap door. We're going to need some more stuff as we go along, but that will get us started. So that's the main thing. So right from the back corner here, we're going to leave a total of three blocks, one, two and three. And then we're going to have two lower polished andesite slabs and I can get rid of those blocks um, and then yeah if you're doing it on the other side one two three four five six seven seven eight nine nine block gap to then get to the other side there uh, that is what's going on with that bit so it's on the on the other side then what we're going to do is we're going to need to build another block right behind that we're going to have a polished andesite slab just behind that one there then we're going to have two polished deep slate slabs on the upper piece here. Then we're gonna have three polished andesite slabs on the front of that, one, two, and three like that. So again, we'll do it on the other side as well. So on the back here, we get a polished andesite slab on the upper piece, two deep slates, one, two. Then we'll get a pol uh, three polished andesite slabs, one, two, and three from there like that. So next what we're gonna do, we're gonna be going diagonal and back again. So um, we can just place any sort of block there and go back from here. So it's all kind of just stepping out. It's all to make this top bit diagonal, basically, is what's going on. I know it's not quite diagonal, but uh, slab it. You know what I mean. Um, so yeah, diagonal from that one. We're then going to have three polished deep slate slabs. One, two, and three. Then an andesite slab. Then we're going to have another two polished uh, deep slate slabs. One, two. Then we're going to have four uh, andesite slabs on the front of this. One, two, three, and four. So there you go. So you get from that diagonal one, then the uh, three deep slate, one andesite, two deep slate, and then four of your andesites going across there. And do the same on the other side. So you can actually go across to there. So we get that andesite, deep slate, three of those, then one andesite, then two deep slate, then four andesite, one, two, three, and four. Okay. And then this time we don't go diagonal. Um, but we just go up onto the upper slab portion of this one. And it's going to be all the way to the front of where we've had before. So it's going to be flush with the last one, plus two. So one and two like that. And then right on the end, you're going to plonk yourself on an end rod. So I've used end rods for the guns on this one. Uh, up to you guys if you want end rods or lightning rods um, or something like that. Again, it's always up to you guys with a lot of those little, little details like that. Totally up to you. So we're going to bring this all the way to the front and then plus two and then plonking our end rod on the front like that. Now I'm pretty sure, I'm going to have to check, yes, the last two blocks of this bit are actually polished andesite blocks. So knock out the last two, switch them out for full blocks like that. It's going to be the bits that connect in to, uh, to the next kind of bit, the middle part of it. And which, speaking of which, what we're going to do is with our polished deep slate, uh, we're going to actually have a total of six of these. So we're going to go three across like that and then another three across going like that so that's where you get your six underneath this i want you to guys to put down you have to build something to uh, be able to do this i want you to, be able to put down iron trapdoors underneath it i think i'm just gonna have to cut into here i think 
me the easiest way. There we go. It's much better. Uh, so get your iron trapdoors on there like that. Get rid of that one. We're also going to have iron trapdoors on the back. Now, that only really works if you've got the debug stick. Or you start doing some redstone to uh, close those trapdoors within inside the build itself. So I'll show you guys how to do that. If you can't do that, you can either leave it, which will look absolutely fine. Or you can put some other sort of trapdoor on the back, like uh, oak, something like that. Uh, we don't have a grey trapdoor, so I'm using white anyway, so it's not exactly um, it's not exactly the uh, perfect match anyway. Um, right, so the last bit for here, we're going to have three upper slabs on the front there. Uh, and then we're going to have two slabs coming across or, or from the front of that there. And now we'll move on to the cockpit. So where we've got those two slabs going forwards, we're going to have a block of andesite coming forwards from that. It's going to be our starting point. We're then going to have an upside down stair either side of that with your polished andesite. And then we're going to have another three upside down stairs going across the sides of these. One, two, and then it'll be above this slab, three. So there you go. A little bit strange, but that is what we've got. Uh, we're then going to have two polished andesite blocks behind that. So we'll do this in the other side. One, two, and three. Two polished andesite blocks behind that. We're then going to have a polished andesite block on the back as well. Then what we're going to do is, with our glass now, grab your grey stained glass. We're going to have one on the front right here, two on the sides, and then over the top we're going to have two as well. It's got quite a big cockpit on it. Then what I did is, for the line kind of parts of it, and it's up to you guys, you can either put this in, or... That's why I don't delete the glass. Or you can just leave it like that. It's totally up to you guys. Uh, I went with trapdoors on just the front of them. Um, it's up to you. So if you do want to do that, just put them on the front of each of those glass blocks. You can also try it on the sides, but what I kind of saw from it, uh, the picture, was that this part of it had a lot more kind of lines going into a central point, and these were kind of they had bracing lines, but that was kind of it, really. So behind this now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a block either side. That block is going to have a slab on top of it, like that. We're then going to have two blocks behind this. One, two, one, two. Then with our polished deep slate, we're going to have two blocks, like that. Now, with your polished andesite stair, where we've got that um, deep slate block, we're going to have two stairs on the side here, like that. We're going to have to grab a new block, which is going to be a polished deep slate wall, so you can switch out your glass for that. And we're going to have two walls underneath this, and then we're going to put iron trapdoors underneath that. So same on the other side, two stairs. Underneath that, deep slate walls. Underneath that, two iron trapdoors. Then behind this glass piece, we're going to have an upper slab. Uh, it's up to you. You can have a full block if you want to. I just wanted to make it, I don't know, feel more like the cockpit is going backwards. The glass is going backwards, although it, although it isn't, because <laughs> we can't make it do that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so then on the top of these deep slate ones, we're going to have two iron trapdoors. And again, on the back, we're going to have iron trapdoors as well. Uh, and actually, what I'll do is I'll show you guys what it looks like without us doing anything, because we've got the version over here. Um, we are going to need warped buttons. And these warped buttons are going to be either side, where we've got this deep deep slate wall, we have the buttons either side. Then we're going to have a polished deep slate wall uh, there like that. That's going to be the ion drive part of it. And then a polished uh, andesite block above that. Now what we're going to do is, on top of this, we're going to have two blocks, one and two, so that's going to be your andesite coming forwards from that. On the back, and we're going to do this, we're going to start and go over and then come down, it'll be a lot easier. Um, so we're going to have a block on top of that one, then we're going to have a stair, then over the top of this, we're going to have two slabs like that. Then we're going to come down, we're going to have two blocks of andesite, so we're just kind of stepping down. We're trying to do this kind of a pattern. Um, it, it's slightly different on both of them because it just didn't work out that way, but uh, you know, as close as we can. We're going to have two slabs coming off of that one. Then down, two blocks. Then we have two slabs. And then finally, we're going to have two slabs coming off of that. And that should be at the same level as this one. So it all ends in the same point. And you can plonk on an end rod onto the front of that. Actually, that reminds me. We need to put the uh, end rods into here as well. So end rod wise, we're going to put an end rod here and here. So they're going to—they're actually quite far back on this one. It's got five cannons on it, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's all the way back there, which is crazy. 
when you think about it. Um, then what we're going to do is this kind of slab layer, the last one we've got, we're just going to pull that all the way back. It's a lot easier to do this than count it all out. <laughs> so that's the reason I've gone with that. The only difference that we've got, or the only extra block of uh, polystyrene site we've got, is where we've got these two here. I'm going to put a block in there, and then everything else is deep slate. Like that. There we go. So that then finishes up that kind of uh, wing bit. I'm just going to have a very quick scan. It looks it looks right, so that's always a good thing. Um, so yeah, the back parts of it, if you want to cover it up with your iron trapdoors, you can do. If you don't, that's what it will end up looking like. You could always cover it up instead with... Uh, well, any of your other trapdoors, to be fair. You could use warped if you want. I seem to... I don't know why, but warped seems to look okay with the uh, TIE Fighter stuff. I think it's because of the green lasers. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, whereas your oak might look a little bit glarish, uh, I guess. Um, the other thing you could do is that this last block here doesn't really add anything. Uh, to be fair, all these three don't really add anything. So you could block those up. Uh, and the same goes with this one, really, as well. You could block those up. If you wanted it but it looks very flat um, and that is one of the things that you've got because really you just want this block to show um, but you know if you did want to put these in so I'm gonna switch them all out now again um, and you do want to put the trapdoors down on it the way that you do that is via something called the debug stick um, so if you can get this awesome if you can't I've already given you the uh, ways to do it but it's a slash give your name then debug underscore stick and what you want to do with this is if you left click you then want to find the open property. So you can see down the bottom here, it's really difficult to show you guys. Uh, but when we're going through there, it's a bit better. You want to sign, see the selected open. See it's on false, so we can then click that to open. We just right click, knocks it down, and that is how we do it. So nice and easy, really. Anyway, guys, that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.